Friday, November 3rd, 2023, afternoon edition. Please pardon any visual and informational inaccuracies in this entirely AI-generated News Digest video. Good afternoon, dear viewers. I'm your news anchor, Xander Voxius III. Thank you for tuning in to the Future of News, the AI-generated News Digest Daily Intelli Report. As always, I will be assisted by my valued AI-generated colleagues in scraping the web for the latest stories and interesting topics and summarizing them for you. Without further ado, here are the headlines of the day. 1. James Burroughs discusses the impact of Matthew Perry's death. 2. Where are all the stealth games going? 3. Moderna lowers its 2023 vaccine forecast, resulting in a drop in stock prices. 4. India defeats Sri Lanka in the 33rd match of 2023-24. 5. UAW strike resolved, potential impact on consumers. 6. Trump's civil fraud trial continues in New York, and much more. But first, let's take a look at this day in history. November 3rd in history. November 3rd, 1333. The River Arno floods causing massive damage in Florence as recorded by the Florentine chronicler Giovanni Villani. November 3rd, 1493. Christopher Columbus first sights the island of Dominica in the Caribbean Sea. Today's obituaries. Gutam Halder. Brief Wikipedia summary. Gutam Halder a 67-year-old Indian actor and director, passed away due to a cardiac arrest. He was known for his work in Indian theatre and had performed in various plays and films throughout his career. Michel Cruin, 90, Surinamese footballer, played for USV Elinquike, DOS and the national team. Oleg Protopopov, brief Wikipedia summary, Oleg Protopopov, a Russian pair skater and Olympic champion, has passed away at the age of 91. Protopopov, along with his wife Ludmila Belusova, won Olympic gold medals in 1964 and 1968 and also won four consecutive world championships from 1965 to 1968. Valery Shmukler, brief Wikipedia summary. Valery Shmukler was a Ukrainian engineer who specialized in construction, reconstruction, and the theory of structural systems. He was highly regarded for his scientific and technological contributions in Ukraine and held prestigious positions in state design institutes. Shmukler also had a successful career as an educator, teaching building design courses. He passed away at the age of 77. Asashio Taro, 4. Brief Wikipedia summary, Asashio Taro for four, a Japanese sumo wrestler, has passed away at the age of 67. He had been battling small intestine cancer. Asashio achieved the rank of Oziki and won one top division tournament championship during his career. He later became a coach and oversaw the promotion of Asanoyama to Oziki. However, he resigned from his position due to a violation of COVID protocols. Zhou Tianong, brief Wikipedia summary. Zhou Tianong, an 84-year-old Chinese politician, served as vice chairman of the CPPCC and the standing committee of the NPC. He had various political positions throughout his career and studied at Peking University. Junior Balaya was an Indian actor, primarily known for his work in Tamil films. He passed away at the age of 70. Throughout his career, which lasted for over four decades, he played supporting roles. Belaya's cause of death was asphyxiation. Walter Davis is a 69-year-old American basketball player who had a successful career with the Phoenix Suns and Denver Nuggets. He was an Olympic champion in 1976. Freddie Ely. Brief Wikipedia summary. Freddie Ely was a Haitian-born Venezuelan football player and manager. He made 20 appearances for the Venezuela national team and had a successful career playing for various clubs in Venezuela. He passed away at the age of 77. Feng Ying Ki. Brief Wikipedia summary. 
Feng Ying Ki was a Paralympic champion from Hong Kong who competed in wheelchair fencing. He won multiple gold medals at the Paralympic Games in 2000 and 2004 and later became a coach and participated in wheelchair marathons. Mohammed Abu Hattab, Palestinian journalist, airstrike. John Havers, brief Wikipedia summary. John Havers, a 92-year-old English badminton player who represented the national team, has passed away. He was known for his success in doubles championships and for playing alongside his brother and sister-in-law in various competitions. Humaira Himu was a Bangladeshi actress who sadly passed away at the age of 37. She began her acting career in 2011 with the film Amar Bondu Rashid and went on to appear in several television dramas. Natra Ismail is a Malaysian politician who served as a Member of Parliament from 2018 to 2022. She was affiliated with the People's Justice Party and the Pakatan Harapan Coalition. Kaya Iva, brief Wikipedia summary. Kaya Iva, a former Estonian politician and Member of Parliament, has passed away at the age of 59 after a prolonged illness. She served as the Minister of Social Protection of Estonia and was a prominent figure in Estonian politics. Henry Lopes, brief Wikipedia summary. Henry Lopes, a Congolese writer, diplomat and politician, has passed away at the age of 86. He served as the Prime Minister of Congo Brazzaville from 1973 to 1975 and was also a notable literary author. Galina Mokolova, 89, Russian actress, known for her roles in Forest and I Won't Come Back. Jutta Müller, brief Wikipedia summary. Jutta Müller, a 94-year-old German figure skating coach, has passed away. She was known for coaching several successful figure skaters, including her daughter Gabriele Seifert, who won two world championships. Müller was also inducted into the World Figure Skating Hall of Fame in 2004. General News. Minnesota justices appear skeptical that states should decide Trump's eligibility for the ballot, the Associated Press. The Minnesota Supreme Court has expressed skepticism about whether states have the authority to block former President Donald Trump from running for office. They suggest that Congress should decide whether his role in the Capitol attack should prevent him from running. The court questions whether it is appropriate for states to determine a candidate's eligibility for president and expresses concern about potential chaos if different states decide the issue differently. The case in Minnesota is one of several filed around the country to bar Trump from state ballots in 2024 over his role in the Capitol attack. Israel-Hamas war live updates. Situation in Gaza Strip is now desperate, UN Relief Agency says. Egypt works to expand evacuations, CNBC. The article discusses ongoing efforts to evacuate civilians from the Gaza Strip, with Egypt working to evacuate 7,000 international passport holders. The Gaza Strip is facing a dire situation, with a main power generator failing, limited health care, and a large number of internally displaced people. U.S. President Joe Biden has called for a humanitarian pause in the conflict. Live updates, Trump's civil fraud trial continues in New York, CNN. The New York Attorney General's office questioned Donald Trump Jr. and Eric Trump regarding their knowledge and involvement in their father's financial statements during their fraud trial. Eric Trump was presented with emails pertaining to his work on Trump's finances while Donald Trump Jr. asserted that he relied on accountants and had no involvement in the preparation of financial statements. The Attorney General's office and Trump's legal team also engaged in a discussion regarding attorney-client privilege. Director James Burrow says, quote, friends, castmates were, quote, destroyed by Matthew Perry's death, stating, quote, it's like a brother dying, end quote, deadline. In an exclusive interview on the Today Show, Friends director James Burroughs mourned the loss of actor Matthew Perry. Burroughs described Perry as inventive and funny, similar to his character Chandler Bing. He also praised Perry's recovery from addiction in recent years. 
The UAW strike might be over, but will consumers feel it later? Fox Business. The United Auto Workers' strike against Detroit's big three automakers has come to an end with tentative agreements reached. But the new labor costs incurred may result in higher vehicle prices for consumers in the future. The strike caused billions of dollars in losses for the industry, and the new contracts include significant pay increases for union workers. Experts are divided on whether these raises will lead to higher vehicle prices, but some believe price hikes are inevitable. It remains to be seen how the added labor costs will impact prices in the long term. Business News The UAW strike might be over, but will consumers feel it later? Ellipsis Fox Business The United Auto Workers' strike against Detroit's big three automakers may be over, but the new labor costs incurred in the fresh contract agreements could lead to higher vehicle prices in the future. Each automaker has agreed to increase union workers' pay by 25% over the life of the contracts, which could result in higher costs for consumers. However, it is too early to tell how these added labor costs will affect prices in the long term. Target has decided to cancel its plans to open a new store in Philadelphia due to the recent surge in crime, which has resulted in the closure of several stores across the country. This news was reported by Fox Business. Target has canceled plans to open a new store in Philadelphia's University City neighborhood near the University of Pennsylvania campus. This decision comes after the retailer announced the closure of nine other stores across the country due to ongoing retail theft. Target did not provide a specific reason for scrapping the plans. Moderna has revised its 2023 COVID vaccine forecast, leading to a decline in its shares. This news was reported by Reuters. Moderna's 2023 sales are expected to be at the low end of its forecast due to weaker demand for COVID-19 vaccines, causing its shares to fall 8%. The company also pushed back the launch of its flu shot to 2025. Concerns about declining COVID vaccine demand have led to a 60% drop in Moderna's shares this year. Technology News. NASA is launching a free streaming service with live shows and original series and gadget. NASA has announced its new streaming service called NASA Plus will be available on November 8th on major platforms. The service will be ad-free and free of charge with no subscription requirements. It will feature family-friendly programming, including live coverage and original video series. Where did all the stealth games go? Extra punctuation, the escapist. Title, The Invincible Review, Stranded on a Harsh Alien World, The Verge. Introduction. Today we bring you a review from The Verge on a captivating science fiction adventure called The Invincible. This game takes players on a thrilling journey as they find themselves stranded on a brutal and unforgiving alien planet. Let's dive into The Verge's review and discover what makes this experience truly invincible. Body. The Invincible is an immersive game that transports players to an alien world filled with mystery and danger. The Verge highlights how the game excels in creating a sense of isolation and survival, drawing players into its atmospheric and immersive setting. The harsh environments and stunning visuals combine to create an otherworldly experience that is both captivating and haunting. The Verge praises the game's narrative, which is based on the popular science fiction novel of the same name by Stanislaw Lem. The story unfolds gradually, keeping players engaged and curious about the secrets that lie within this alien world. The Verge notes that the game's attention to detail and intricate storytelling make it a standout experience in the science fiction genre. The gameplay mechanics in The Invincible are also commended by The Verge. The Verge mentions the game's emphasis on exploration and problem solving, which adds depth and complexity to the overall experience. The Verge also notes that the game's puzzles are challenging yet rewarding, making each discovery feel significant and satisfying. Furthermore, The Verge highlights the game's sound design and music, which effectively enhance the sense of immersion. The atmospheric sounds and haunting melodies contribute to the overall ambience of the game, creating a truly immersive and memorable experience. Conclusion. In conclusion, 
The Invincible is a remarkable science fiction adventure that successfully transports players to a harsh and unforgiving alien world. The Verge's review highlights the game's captivating narrative, immersive gameplay mechanics, and stunning visuals. If you're a fan of science fiction and enjoy exploring mysterious and atmospheric worlds, The Invincible is a game that shouldn't be missed. The article discusses the return of the first-person exploration game genre with the release of The Invincible. Developed by Starward Industries and based on a novel by Stanislaw Lem, the game takes players on a mysterious and eerie journey through an alien planet. The gameplay evolves as the story progresses, offering new tools and features. The game has a retro-futuristic style and provides a satisfying experience within a reasonable playtime of around six hours. Sports News. Recent match report, India versus Sri Lanka, 33rd match, 2023-24, th ESPN Chris Info. India's fast bowling trio dominated Sri Lanka's batting lineup, with Mohamed Shami taking five wickets for 18 runs, as Sri Lanka were bowled out for just 55 runs. India went on to win the match by 302 runs, with contributions from Shubman Gill, Virat Kohli, and Shreyas Iyer with the bat. Dilshan Madhushanka impressed with a five-wicket haul for Sri Lanka, but their bowling attack struggled to contain India's batsmen. Health news. Shop with Dr. McGeorge. What to buy for colds, pain, and other things at the pharmacy. WDIV. Click on Detroit. The article provides a breakdown of different active ingredients found in combination cold remedies. It discusses the use of acetaminophen for fever, ibuprofen for pain relief, dextromethorphan for cough, guaifenesin as an expectorant, and pseudoephedrine for runny nose and congestion. The author recommends reading the labels carefully and consulting with a pharmacist for guidance. Additionally, the article suggests buying generic versions of these medications to save money. New map shows how our neurons communicate. Neuroscience News. Researchers from Cleveland Clinic and Oregon Health and Science University, OHSU, have developed a new method for mapping how the parts of the brain speak to each other, critical to understanding behavior changes in patients with neurological disease. The study, using the Campari system, can map real-time brain activity by highlighting active neurons in red and inactive ones in green. This research is significant for understanding behavior and personality changes in Alzheimer's disease and related disorders. 27 foods to help poop relieve constipation without laxatives, Insider. According to experts, certain foods can be just as effective as laxatives in relieving constipation. Increasing fiber intake, such as through high-fiber foods like prunes, kiwis, and beans, can help make bowel movements easier and smoother. Other options include coffee and seafood. Sweet spot for hormone replacement therapy may reduce dementia risk by nearly a third, study says CNN. Hormone replacement therapy, HRT, taken in the 40s and 50s may protect the female brain from Alzheimer's disease and dementia, according to a recent meta-analysis. The analysis found that the degree of protection differs by hormone type and that the brain is more likely to be protected if HRT is started soon after menopausal symptoms begin. The analysis also found that if HRT is taken for more than 10 years, there is a 26% reduced risk of dementia. However, if HRT is started after the age of 65 or more than 10 years after the start of menopause, the risk of dementia increases. The type of hormone prescribed also matters with estrogen-only therapy providing a 32% lower risk of dementia and estrogen-progesterone therapy providing a 23% risk reduction compared to using no hormone therapy. The analysis also found that synthetic forms of progesterone may be driving the increased risk of dementia. Further research is needed to understand the effects of hormone replacement therapy on brain health. Entertainment News. Emily Hampshire of Schitt's Creek apologizes for Johnny Depp and Amber Heard Halloween costumes, CNN. Actress Emily Hampshire has apologized for dressing up as Johnny Depp and Amber Heard for Halloween, acknowledging that it was thoughtless and insensitive. Hampshire expressed regret for portraying the couple, who were involved in a trial centered around allegations of domestic abuse, and stated that she will do better in the future. 
Humanity is on the run in the first trailer for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, The Verge. The teaser trailer for the fourth movie in the Planet of the Apes franchise, Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes, reveals a world where apes have become the dominant force, leaving humans in a vulnerable position as they cower and run from their new rulers. Now a couple of dad jokes for you. I used to work for a soft drink can crusher. It was so depressing. What is a witch's favorite subject in school? Spelling. I saw an ad in a shop window. Television for sale, $1, volume stuck on full. I thought, I can't turn that down. Thank you for watching this AGNDD Intel I report. Like, subscribe, and click the bell button to get notified during new uploads. And make sure to tune in next time. Stay safe and healthy. Cheers.